When looking at large format pigment ink printers in 24 to 44 inch sizes, our customers most often compare the Canon Pro Series to the Epson P Series. After all, Canon and Epson are the top selling brands in the fine art printer market. Today, we're gonna look at the top five differences between these two printers. All right, each of these manufacturers make 12 channel models for top quality prints, which is what we will be comparing today. The Canon Pro 2100 and 4100 versus the Epson P7570 and 9570. Now in our demo center here in Chicago, we have 44 inch models of the Canon and a 24 inch model of the Epson. We've tested these, we've sold many of them. So we're gonna highlight today the top five differences between them. Both Epson and Canon make excellent fine art printers, which produce outstanding images. The models we're comparing today each have a 2400 by 1200 max resolution. They also have 12 ink channels. Now Epson fills these channels with 12 colors, while Canon is gonna use 11 colors plus their chroma optimizer. The ink sets are very similar. Each manufacturer is using a photo black, a matte black, a gray, a light gray. The difference in ink set lies in that Epson is using orange, green, and violet, while Canon is using red, blue, and chroma optimizer. Now, while their ink sets are slightly different, we really see this as two ways to get to one destination. The color gamut is so similar, and as I said, they have the same max resolution. So let's get on to some restrictions or advantages to each of these printers. The first thing to consider is the printhead technology. Epson uses a piezo precision core micro TFP printhead, which is designed to last for the life of the printer. Now piezo printheads use electricity to fire ink drops. And on the other hand, Canon uses their PF10 thermal printhead with fine anti-clogging technology. Since thermal printheads use heat to fire ink, they do eventually degrade over time and are actually considered a consumable. So Canon's PF10 printheads are user replaceable and currently around $700 to purchase. Now that is a cost that you will need to consider and factor in when you're comparing the printers and their cost to operate. The life you're gonna get out of the printhead is dependent on how often you use it. Both Epson and Canon printers come with a one year warranty. And outside of that, if a printhead failed, you'd either be paying for Epson service to come replace your printhead or buying and replacing Canon's printhead yourself. Now do note on Epson, you could buy extended warranties that would cover that printhead um, under its warranty. Now the second thing to consider is how you prefer to use roll media and if a take up reel is needed. None of the 24 or 44 inch models from Canon or Epson come with a take up reel. However, you can add an optional take up reel to the 44 inch version of the Epson, which is the 9570. Epson does not offer a take up reel on the 24 inch version. Canon has this optional multi-function roll system, which can be added to either the 24 or 44 inch model. And a cool thing about Canon's is it has a system where you can use it as the take up reel, or you can load a second roll of media for easy switching between jobs and media types. This way you could have a glossy and a matte roll loaded on your printer or two different size rolls or even two of the same. So the second roll will automatically load into the printer when the first roll is gone. Now, if we stick with how you use media, another thing to think about is sheet loading. On Canon printers, there's a few steps. First, you have to tell the printer you're gonna load a sheet. Then you'll be prompted to lift the front cover, lift the lever, which releases the pinch rollers, and manually load your sheet in portrait orientation in line with the registration marks. Finally, lower the lever and the cover. Epson's sheet loading starts in a similar way. You'll have to tell the printer you're loading a sheet, then simply load the sheet into the tab at the top of the printer. Click OK a couple times, and then you're good to go. If you mainly work with sheets, the extra time and effort doing that on a Canon may seem as a possible drawback. Now the fourth thing we feel is important to mention is the ability to print on rigid boards. Epson can print on rigid boards up to 1.5 millimeters thick. Think of their enhanced matte poster board. Now we're not sure how many people would actually use that on a fine art printer, but we feel it's worth mentioning because Canon does not have that capability. And a side note while we're at it, one other thing to throw in is the borderless options. 
Both printers can print borderless. Canon's Pro 2100 and 4100 will accept customized borderless sizes from six inches to 44 inches wide. Epson, on the other hand, has set border-free sizes which range from 10 inch to 44 inch. Now, we won't list all the preset sizes, but if you go to our website, underneath the printer, you can find all that information. All right, the fifth thing, finally, your need to consider the price. Canon and Epson are always updating their promotions and sometimes have instant rebates, mail-in rebates, um, so be sure to check the latest pricing on our website. Right now, the Canon Pro 2100 is just over 3,000 with additional mail-in rebates available. The Epson 7570 is just over 4,200. And when you look at 44-inch models, the Canon's 44-inch is about 4,500 with a mail-in rebate available, and the Epson's 44-inch is just under 6,000. And then one final thing to talk about is Epson does have other 44-inch printers that have roll systems where you could do dual rolls. So we'll be looking at that, but it just didn't fit the same ink set when we're comparing those. So I hope understanding some of these differences helps you in deciding what printer to buy. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please give IT Supplies a call to make your next printer purchase. Thanks.